our cabin here. Nothing spectacular, but you know, we got what we need and some. The oven wasn't here when we bought it. We brought the oven in, got some basic shelving, you know what I mean? Nothing spectacular. Don't mind the diet and the whoppers. This was here, you know, the guy had made this countertop. It's beautiful, you know what I mean? But this happened this year. It's not the most pressure in the world, but hey, it works. <laughs> and then we can filter it, you know? We got a filter that hooks up to the well, goes through the filter, goes into the tank upstairs, which you'll see, and then we filter it through here. So we do filter it twice before we drink it. Haven't had it tested yet, but it passes the taste test for flying <laughs> colors. The guy who built this house, his name is Wayne Sapp. He was from Iowa. Him and his wife bought this land and built the house they were going to use it as a summer retreat but then they had before he finished the house they had a big tornado storm that blew down their biggest barn in iowa and they needed money so they ended up turning around and selling the place and uh that's why we got it for such a good deal but now i'm really glad at first i saw it as like kind of a gosh i got this house i don't know what to do my lord but now i'm thankful because we've been able to do a lot more work outside and I couldn't build something like this. You know, I just couldn't, not yet in my life, you know. Like I stated before, there are unfinished projects, you'll see. We put the wood stove in, it works amazing. It's an earth stove, it's not cast iron, it's steel. And yeah, that's our, our money maker right there. It really heats up, we heat up our water on it. A lot of times we got cast iron skillets we put on there, so we'll heat water and cook. Got this sweet little fan that spins as it heats and that spins or pushes some air around. Got my unfinished mosaic, which is just gorgeous, I know. My God, <laughs> everybody wants to buy one of these. Got a nice little hide bed here, little corner area where we hang out. When it's clear, like right now you can see a little bit, but looking to the west, there's Mount Redoubt, which is a volcano. And yeah, our northern view is Tarisky Valley. You'll see a lot of moose down there, hear wolves, coyotes at night. Doesn't take too much to heat. Pretty small. All right, so our bathroom here, like I said, is unfinished because I'm not really that great of a carpenter. Now we have a toilet that runs, which I don't care about, but my girlfriend cares about, and I can understand why. It's nice when people come over to be able to send them to the toilet instead of the outhouse. Not to get private, but I pee all around the outside of our land. You know, not the 20 acres, but where we have the orchard. And that acts, I think, uh, as like a border for the animals to stay away. We mark our territory. And I talk to my dogs, like they're little humans. And I'm like, go pee on the borders. And I swear they do, man. So yeah, now we got a toilet, which is nice, but we would like to put a bath. Not sure if dimensions match up. We do have it plumbed for water, both hot water on demand system as well as the cold water. So once I figure out a design that I want in here, which I'm having trouble with, we'll get it done, you know? But in the meantime, we go to Anchor Point. It's eight miles away. And you know, going to town to check the mail or whatever. And there's a nice laundry mat, shower place, pay five bucks, 11 minutes of hot shower. I mean, you know, I'm a infantryman myself, so. I take like a two minute shower. A lot of times I don't take the whole shower. I'm like, all right, you know, so sometimes same thing as with the generator. Like, do I need to do it? Do I need to make a shower in here, you know? But I know it would be nice at some point, especially if we want to rent it or just to have it finished. But so this is the bathroom. It's pretty basic right now. And then we have a back room back here that we just put some flooring down for. And that's generally used for like right now our worker. He stays in that back room, and we've had people visit. They stay in the back room, but yeah, that's just kind of storage right now, so. Walking up the stairs to my loft, which is actually a sauna in the, when we have it heated up in here. It's a beautiful thing and a bad thing, you know, having a loft like this. We don't have an overhead fan, which we would really like to get, or some other fan up here, but when it's cold outside and you have the heat blazing up here, I mean, you're sleeping desnudo yeah. <laughs> which is spanish for without clothes like you can't be in clothes it's so it's hot so man hot. we did have a house sitter stay here at one point and she was really into what's that hot yoga bikram yeah. and she was like this is the best yoga studio ever you know and she loved it but same type of thing um floors unfinished you know we got some carpet tiles thinking about laying down but then i'm like oh why should i i got other things i want to do but pretty simple you know got our bed 
our little table area, a rocking chair, you know, a friend gave us, our little hot water heater. Earlier, I made a mistake, because usually I have Levi, who's the plumber, fill up the water tank. You know, we run the well, fill up the water. Well, I was the one in charge, and of course, I'm Mr. Multitask, so I was building a fire at the same time, and it overflowed, you know? So we ended up having a little bit of water that went on the ground here underneath it, and I'm cleaning it up, so. <laughs> Sorry for the mess, but it's our little closet space, you know, it ain't nothing spectacular, man, but it's easy, it's simple, you know, I don't spend a lot of time looking at what I'm going to wear in the morning, I generally just put it on and go forth with my day, so, yeah, I mean, it's nice up here, man, you know, you can sit in the rocking chair and look out to the north, and if it's winter, I mean, literally, you can lay in bed and you can see the northern lights. I mean, my girlfriend's first winter was here in Alaska, her first winter. And on her birthday, October 1st of that year, I remember I woke, for some reason I had to wake up and go to the restroom and I went outside on the deck and I looked up and they were just all over the sky. I was like, oh my God. I came upstairs like, Sunrisa, Sunrisa, you gotta go, check it out, check it out. She's like, what, what? And she gets out there and literally just cries. She's just she crying. Cried. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. She was up for like 45 minutes, you know, like you can walk probably longer. <laughs> Me, I've seen it so much, you know, I grew up in Nome, but seen it so much it's like oh yeah the northern lights it's great you know but it is really nice to be able to be in your own home look out the windows go on your deck there's no light pollution which is another huge quality in off the grid living no light pollution i see the stars i see you know i wouldn't say uranus but uh <laughs> i see some things out there you know um and yeah man so so it's nice yeah, this is the spot.